In a bid to reach out to some market women at the grassroots in Isan Central Local Government's area ahead of the upcoming governorship elections, a one-day empowerment program was organized by the member representing Isan Central, Honorable Chief Sunday Fada Egbere Monye. Guests who graced the occasion held at Irua include the PDP governorship candidates, Barista Aswe Igudalu, Edo State PDP Chairman, Honorable Tony Aziegbemi, the Speaker of Edo State Assembly, Honorable Blessing Agwigbaku, the State's Director General of the Aswe Igudalu Campaign, Honorable Matthew Idure Keme, Senator Clifford Odia, amongst others. BTV News Best Orator has the details. The one day empowerment program organized by the member representing Isa Central constituency at the Dosti House of Assembly, Honorable Chief Sunday Father Egbere Mone, to reach out and present envelopes containing cash to women at the grassroots was also an opportunity for party chieftains of the PDP and other dignitaries who were in attendance to serve the party's candidates to the electorate. The beneficiaries of the empowerment program, after receiving their gifts, sang in Esa language, praising Honorable Sunday Father Egbere Mone for his benevolent spirit. <laughs> Addressing attendees and party faithful, the benefactor, Honorable Sunday Fada, stated that there was need for him to support the traders in his only two way. He expressed the belief that the PDP governorship candidate, Dr. Aswe Godalo, is the right man for the number one seat in Edo State, and joining all to vote for him because, according to him, he will put smiles on the faces of traders when he's elected as governor. Why is trade is moving, it doesn't look bad. Why it doesn't look bad because he left nobody behind. Also in his speech, the speaker of the Dusty House of Assembly, Right Honorable Blessing Agbebaku, thanked the Arewa group and others who were part of those who benefited from the philanthropic gesture of Honorable Sunday Father Egbe Remone. Adding that whatever they are receiving now, the PDP governorship candidate Dr. Aswe Godalo will double it when elected governor of the state. He reiterated the decision of the state government that there will be a governing council very soon in Ambrus Ali University, Ekboma, to make it a better place for students, as promised by Governor Basiki. Assalamu alaikum. Una welcome. All the non ibiji here. I thank Una. Una welcome. Women will walk on their feet from my brother, his father, who now welcome 500 today. By the time Aswan become governor, he go turn 1,000. They can use outside language. Isha Allah. The governor, they try to say, make everything day in order. And uh, yesterday, he don't come and say, we want to put a board in place in um, Bruce Ali University to make it a better place for our students. Calling for support from the people, the PDP governorship candidate, Dr. Aswe Godalo, reaffirmed his promise to take Edo State higher. He promised to ensure even development across the three senatorial districts of Edo State when elected governor. I promise you all our good people of Edo State and all our good people of Eastern Land that henceforth, Edo State is going to rise to its true place in the community of some sovereigns in the world, without a doubt, and with all of us working. Some defectors from other opposition parties to the PDP were later received by the state PDP chairman, Dr. Tony Azimbemi, who, after welcoming the defectors, directed that they should be accorded equal rights like old members of the party. These new members of the party in this local government, they are bona fide members of the party. We don't have new members, we don't have old members. All the rights and privileges that every member should have, they must have it too. Others who spoke at the empowerment program include the Director General of the Aswa Igodalo Campaign Organization, Honorable Matthew Dwa Ikeme, who urged the people to vote the PDP and that the best candidate for the upcoming governorship election is Dr. Aswa Igodalo.
In addition, the immediate past senator representing Edo Central Senatorial District, Senator Clifford Ahimemona Odia, in his remarks, said he was very happy to welcome all to the empowerment program and appreciated the solidarity shown for the PDP governorship candidate Aswa Ngodalo, adding that winning the forthcoming governorship election is a task that must be done. And the only good candidate will get this election for this year will get now PDP get up. And that candidate may be Aswe Ngodalo. I want to welcome all of you to this empowerment ceremony with all our heart and to thank you for honoring our invitation. The 500 beneficiaries were given the sum of 50,000 naira each. Best Orator reporting for BTV News.